Welcome each and every one of you to my 41th episode of uh, my run through Dark Souls Remastered. So last episode uh, we struggled a little bit with that Titanite Demon and then we got a beating from Solaire. But this time I am pretty certain that we will get back on both of them. To signify my confidence I am also going to fight the Titanite Demon first. Even though my swords are uh, at Solaire's place behind the Titanite Demon. And you might have noticed I have another weapon. And uh, yeah, I took up the. Um, oh, Zweihander again. Because I like the spacing on that weapon. Um, but I'm not only using that thing, I can now swap between those two, because what I did was I was just upgrading both of them. I think this one, yeah, this is, uh, I most likely will stick, especially for the fight against the, um, I, I thought about the uh, Zweihander as a weapon, I, I, I maybe changed that again, I made it to be a divine weapon. Um... Because I thought maybe that magic damage is doing a, a huge difference. But uh, it didn't seem like it did. To be honest. Um, the Black Knight uh, straight sword in, uh, on the other hand it's, uh, it's pretty damn powerful. Especially now that I upgraded it. You can see now my light swings one shot these guys. Which makes it so much easier to just clear them all out. So easy. Uh, yeah, it was about time. I should have uh, done that way earlier. Okay, I uh, forgot to check the clock. Now I check the clock. It's uh, 0 0.12. Um, so, 12 minutes after midnight. Right now, let's say the episode is going like the, the 3 minutes. Now, now it's 13 past midnight, so let's say uh, I'm just recording s till uh, around... Uh, 30 minutes after midnight. So, let's fuck this guy up. Yeah, it was about time to upgrade my weapons. I should have done that way earlier, but I kinda was not happy with my Black Knight straight sword. Um, like, I really like the weapon, but the thing is I was not really happy with a black, using a Black Knight weapon in general. Because they are so damn powerful. Um, but that's one thing that I definitely like more in Dark Souls uh, 3 than in Dark Souls 1. Um, the way weapon upgrade system works. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, he did it again. He he did that. Uh, I pull you in with my uh, tail when you dodge my attack. Thing fucking again. That is... Uh, that's uh, pretty. Okay, okay, okay. He's doing the jump, isn't he? No, he's not. Okay, I'm healing up. Are you doing the jump now? Yes, you are. Thought so. Oh shit. Okay, cool. I dodged it uh, completely. I did not expect him to jump there. Okay, my dodges are not on the spot right now. Let's uh, use that to heal up real quick. Dodge that jump. Okay, and I got him. Cool. Um, I lost all my uh, Astral Flash though. Not too much of a big deal. Because um, I am... I'm so full of confidence. Uh, I'm actually going to swap out this shield. Because I'm confident that I can uh, block this guy's... Uh, uh, I can parry this guy. So... 
Black Net Sword has 100% uh, damage absorption, which makes it pretty easy to just take some hits with the shield. Come on, Solaire. Let's let's uh, let's settle the score. Let's let's settle this. These things are definitely in my way. Okay. Okay, I did not parry that one. Yes, I parried that one. So yeah, I kind of think now I get how you parry in Dark Souls 1. And I believe it's too easy. Oh shit. Uh, I just... Dr d I just uh, pulled my finger off that uh, button to... Um, block that attack. Okay. So yeah, I can't explain fully what happened here. Now we have the complete gear of Solaire, which is kind of cool. And also if we kill these, one of them should have... The, the, the headgear that Solaire was wearing. Oh yeah, it's there. The Sunlight Maggot. I, I'm going to show that off to you real quick. There we go. I then have a sun floating over my head and yeah um, so what happened there with Solaire is basically um, oh wait I do I have it no I have not no no homeward bones in my quick selection so I'm going to use it here let's see how, how deep we are in this episode yeah we should have enough time to at least uh, do an attempt on uh, killing that uh, next boss, which uh, might be the worst designed boss fight in the whole game, maybe even in the whole series. I, I'm not sure though. I have not played Dark Souls um, 2 yet, but I heard so much bad stuff about this boss. And um, I saw the boss fight a few times as well. It's, it's pretty dumb. It's very, very dumb. Um, the worst thing about it is <laughs> um, you, you have like three goals in this boss fight <laughs> and if you reach one of the goals it it's still it, like when you go back in it's it's still done. I'm not saying that, that oh this is too easy or something like that but uh, actually I think that is a statement about how stupid the boss fight is because if you ask me it's pretty obvious that they did it in the way in that way because the boss was too frustrating to bear. So they knew they they couldn't let the boss fight in, in the game like that because no and so many people would just hate it too much like it would be just so bad. And um I think that is actually why they um oh what is that? That's a pyromancer. Huh? I didn't know about that guy. Oh shit. Yo boy, that's dangerous. Okay. Isolith Catalyst, okay. I think I know that item from Dark Souls 3. Yeah, that is uh, the boss room with the um, Bed of Chaos. Let's check this area out before. Let's kill this uh, funny little dude. Let's check this out. Is that a mimic? No, it is not. Uh, oh, Chaos Fire. That sounds cool. Mm. Is that an illusionary wall? Try hint? Uh, I don't know. Okay, let's get into the boss fight. So, by the way, I'm just going to drink a little bit of whiskey that I prepared. Um, shout out to a friend of mine. Like, 
multiple friends of mine, but one in particular who uh, they they gifted me the whiskey and the whiskey glasses as well as the whiskey stones that I use. For those who don't know, whiskey stones are stones that you put in your whiskey to keep the whiskey cool because you don't want to use ice cubes because then they melt down and um, the water is mixing with the whiskey, uh, ruining the taste. And therefore you want to use whiskey stones if you have a really good whiskey. Um, and uh, yeah, that one friend of mine, uh, she's uh, also having a YouTube channel. I'm just, you know what, I'm just going to put a link in the description because she gave me this uh, whiskey. It's also about gaming. Uh, to be specific, her YouTube channel is about League of Legends. I think League of Legends exclusively. He, she, she's not doing anything about gaming but League of Legends. And... Um, yeah, this is the bed of chaos. What I have to do is I have to run in this direction. And uh, I have to dodge the attacks there. And, uh... Oh shit. There he hit. There, there, there that thing hit me. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so dumb. And now I have to just get in there. And I, I got the first objective. Now there's a second thing like that. And after that I can go in the middle and just kill the actual boss. And the boss is like one really shitty enemy that is just sitting in the middle there that dies with one or two hits. And the whiskey uh, is uh, pretty delicious, to be honest. Like, I think I drank some whiskey that I like more. Um, but it's pretty good. It's like, it burns a little bit. Oh, shit. Huh? Okay. Healing up first. Now I'm running around the... Oh. Okay, okay. Oh, I, I just rolled into my death. Okay. Okay. Let's get back into this. I think I should have just tried to jump over that uh, crack there. Um... I mean, uh, I thought for a moment about it, but I was like, ah, oh, why shouldn't I take the safe route? Okay, there's no safe route. This boss fight is stupid. No, I don't. I don't want to just rant about. Oh, every says it's stupid, so I'm telling you that it's stupid as well. No, um, I think uh, the stupid thing about this boss is the. Con I love the concept, though. I love the concept about this boss fight, and. You can really see in this boss fight, they had a similar concept that they had in the boss fight in Demon Souls with the Dragon God. Which is usually the first Arc Demon that you kill in Demon Souls. And what you had to do in the boss fight with the um, Dragon God was you were in this uh, like ruin, in those ruins which were in a wall and the was like a fortress in a wall and the dragon god was standing in front of that thing and uh, you had to hit some uh, boulders and stuff like that to get them out of the way to destroy them and get uh, past them and um, the dragon god himself I am by the way I'm not caring for the swords that I dropped in there I don't care at all for them I'm just heading for the next objective on the left side. So, um, yeah, you had to go through there and he was like breathing fire or punching the wall where you are. And you had to just try to get out of his way and try to move through that uh, fortress to get uh, to like some ballistas. Um, which you could then use to... Okay, can I do a jump here? Yes, I can. So, you had to use those ballistas to... Did he... He almost pushed me off the ledge. Can, can you not do that? What 
this boss fight is so stupid. Um, no, no. Um, so what I wanted to talk about was uh, that, that, like you had to push the uh, use those ballistas to pin his arms, and then when both of his arms are pinned, he's like, you can go in and attack his head. And uh, there are two ways that you you could make a boss fight like that, similar to this one, very very cool. Um. Oh shit. Yeah, it's, it's uh, this is just a, this is just a pain in the ass to deal with. To be honest, it's just super stupid. I'm I'm going to finish it off though. Now I can just go in for the kill. Um. So the two ways how a boss fight like that could be really good, um, would be that, for example, if you pin the. Uh, Dragon God, or if you are able to get into the middle of this thing here, um, that you then have like a real boss fight starting. Like in here could have been like some kind of humanoid enemy, something similar to uh, other humanoid enemies in this game, like uh, Onsta and Smog. Like one of them. No, not not that you would have to put on and, and all smog in there, but something similar, some kind of humanoid type enemy, um, maybe some kind of py uh, pyromancer because this is the bed of chaos. There should be fire involved, so why not pyromancy? So just just imagine in there would be like a little um, like a humanoid boss that is uh, not that much of like that doesn't take that many hits but you have to go through a little bit to get to him and then you have this little showdown in the small arena that is the bed of chaos and when you kill him that's he that humanoid is the uh, heart of the bed of chaos and you have won the fight that would be pretty cool the other way would be if you would like make a little bit more this is just such a small room just three things and then it's done but at the same time, why this one here in particular is, my, in my opinion, worse than the Dragon God thing. Because the Dragon God is very similar in many ways. And it's also not a good boss fight. It's it's the worst boss fight in... Did, did, did it just one-shot me? You know you know what I'm talking about, right? You just, just see this. Um, so the thing is, both boss fights are pretty bad. But this one is worse. The reason for that is... This boss fight is so extremely frustrating to deal with. It's just the hitboxes are super stupid. It's just this huge thing that can cover the whole area with his arms. And um, then and then you have to do some jumps and stuff like that. And it's just uh, moving his hands over the battlefield. And that's going to fuck you up. And you just saw that. I just got killed with one fucking hit. Th that is ridiculous. And, like, there, there's no good aspect about this boss fight, to be honest. Like, well, there is one good aspect. But there's no good aspect that is really realized in the game. Um, realized is the wrong word. I think. Um, yeah, it is the wrong word. Um,. So th there's nothing in the game that really is just good in this boss fight. The thing that is good about the boss fight is the concept. Because the concept could have been really, really great. The The boss fight is just executed horribly. The concept is good. I love the concept. I love the concept with the Elder Dragon. And I love this concept as well. It's just really, really good. But this thing has just... Stupid hitboxes, stupid anger that you have to look at that thing while you try to not walk into those uh, holes. Yes, I get it. Ah, oh, boy. Okay, I think I won the boss fight now. I th I think yeah, I have won. I won. That's it. You see, and that's that's the most 
tedious part about this whole thing. You going through the, this really annoying thing. It's it's just so much struggle and so annoying. And then the payoff is not there. I I might even die here still. You just do. It's, that's it. That's it. Am I satisfied now? No, I'm not. This boss is stupid. It's garbage. It is so stupid. <laughs> I I don't like to just rant, but. The hitboxes are bad. It's super frustrating to deal with the boss. You don't really have an enemy that you you're facing off. Uh, if uh, you don't know what to do there, I bet people can get super frustrated finding even out what to do. Once you find out, you realize the game is even doing some uh, do, has some pity for you because why? They know it's bullshit. If they wouldn't know that this is bullshit, they wouldn't have done it in a way that. If you do one of those things and then kill, gets killed, that it's still done the next time when you get in. They wouldn't have done that if they didn't know that this was stupid. I, I get it. I think uh, they had an idea and they wanted to make it good. But um, as it is with the whole uh, Lost Isolith part, um, they didn't have enough time. Let's see. Um... Yeah, um, let's end this episode on this horrible note of me being super frustrated with uh, the unfinished parts of Dark Souls 1, the bad parts about this amazing game. Uh, and uh, next episode, um, I think I'm heading for the archives, and the archives I like a little bit more. And um, looking forward to that. Going to see you in the next episode. Goodbye.